I have been rejected so many times. School, work, a lot of places. Winners are people who keep trying. If 10 doors are slammed in your face, go to door number 11. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. As you can see, I am on a business trip again, but I promise that I will bring you guys with me wherever I go. Nothing can stop me from creating videos and helping you guys to your day-to-day -day problems. So, I have picked the request from Hungry Traveler. So, here's his message. He is very confident that it becomes challenging for him to accept rejections. Thank you so much for that message. I am very glad that my channel not only caters specifically for women, but also I get to inspire men. So let's begin. How to handle rejections. Acknowledge it. It's okay to feel sad, frustrated, or even discouraged, but... Once you have done all of that, you have to get up because you cannot stay in that situation for too long. If you never get rejected, you haven't gone outside your comfort zone. Personally, being on a safe side is not as fulfilling as taking risk. For your case, hungry traveler, kudos to you for taking risk for going outside of your comfort zone. Most people stay where they are comfortable. They are scared to take risk so they'd rather contain themselves in their boxes for the fear of rejection. But having that mindset, it will be tough for you to reach your full potential. Only through rejections, we will be able to test and build resiliency. And that's how life is all about. And I understand, rejections can trump our self-confidence. But... You have to know, rejections have no bearing of you, who you are. So do not let rejections define you. If a company passes on you, it doesn't mean you're incompetent. If you didn't get accepted to your dream school, it doesn't mean you're unqualified. If a man or a woman turned you down, it doesn't mean you're unlikable. Do not feel inadequate or unworthy. Rejections are simply a reroute for something better. I have been rejected so many times. School, work, a lot of places. The thing is, I'm okay with it because I know the rejection has nothing to do with myself. It is not meant to be. So I move forward. And let me give you an example. My personal experience. Six years ago, I wanted to be the director of operations at Google. They had just opened a new department, which you'd never heard of, because I will tell you the story later. I applied to be the director of operations. Out of all thousands and thousands of candidates who applied for that position, I was able to get to step five. I was able to get to the last interview. I was interviewed by the team and my fifth interview, who was the head of the head, she was the decision maker, for whatever reason, did not like me. The other team members were vouching for me. They were saying that we really want her in our team, but just this one person, a decision maker, didn't like me. I was very confident that I was gonna get that job. I got into the last interview. I received the email. While we are impressed with your qualifications, unfortunately, we are not moving forward with you. I wanted to take on that role because even if it is Google, it was a new department. It will be a very entrepreneurial environment because it's something new, but it did not happen. I was devastated, but I had to move forward. You know what's interesting? Six months later, the department that I was applying for closed down. On the other hand, I took a better position I was happier in. If I got hired at Google six months earlier, 
that I wouldn't be able to get the better opportunity. Five or six years later, I couldn't see myself working for Google. And I don't believe that I will be able to reach my full potential if I work for Google. That's where I've realized rejections can be for your own benefit. If you change your mindset and do something about it and reframe your mindset by looking at it as your means for personal growth. And most of the time, we want something so bad. We want it now. Our judgment gets clouded with our desires. Most of the time, there is something better in store for us. Another example, I was hiring an engineer for a technology company. And there was this gentleman who was a senior engineer from Facebook. Everything looked great on paper. His credentials were impressive. When I conducted the interview with him, there was no question with his qualifications. I know he could do the job even way better than expected. The thing is, I was looking for something that I just couldn't find in him. I was looking for a candidate who was passionate, who was driven, who has hunger. And I couldn't find that in him. You see what I'm saying? Regardless of how great he was, his credentials, his background, it was not just the right fit. I have been in both sides of the equation. And most of the time I have learned, rejections have nothing to do with you. You'd rather be rejected in a place that you do not fit and be accepted in a place that you belong. A rejection doesn't make your dream unattainable. It just takes a little longer to get there. Successful people are not scared to be rejected because through rejections, that's where they build resiliency. And instead of looking at rejections as negative, they turn it as an opportunity for self-growth. If you can reframe your mindset that rejection has nothing to do with you, it is simply a circumstance. And most of the time, there is something better waiting for you in store. You just couldn't see it now because your judgment is clouded with all the great things, your excitement in that specific desire. And as I always say to you guys, people who make it to the top are not the smartest. They are the people who just keep going. If you don't get a yes, reframe it to something positive. Don't feel uncomfortable hearing no. When 10 doors are slammed in your face, go to door number 11. Thank you so much for all your messages. I promise I will get to all of them. Please bear with me because I wanted to make sure that the content and the advice that I give you is tailored specific to your needs and that would be easier for you to implement. I am not ignoring your messages. I will get through them and keep them coming. The more I see the specific need for that topic, the more it will urge me to prioritize your topic. We are here to create impact, big or small. Impact is an impact. Until next time.